Inventory Management in Oracle Cloud. I'm Linus and in this video we will go over the five simple groups of transactions that this application has to offer. Before we jump into this transaction overview, we have to understand what inventory management actually covers. So there are two parts to this definition. Firstly, inventory management refers to the process of storing, transferring and organizing of goods. And secondly, it also involves the management of various supplies and processes. Now, the second part is very important to understand because it tells us inventory management is very interconnected. And the same is true for Oracle Cloud. As you can see here, we have, for example, connections to manufacturing, to procurement, to finance, shipping and order management. Inventory sits in the middle of a lot of business processes and therefore there are also many different possible transactions. The good news though is that we can group these transactions into five simple logical groups and that's what we're going over now. Let's take this simplified example here and let's say it's an IKEA store. We have three sub-inventories. Sub-inventories are physical parts of an organization that are usually grouped by their usage. Here we have the shop, the warehouse and one sub-inventory for damaged goods. To move material around here in the same organization between these sub-inventories, Oracle offers two types of transactions. First, sub-inventory transfers and second, movement requests. Most companies will have more than one inventory organization. So let's add another one here. Now that we have two inventory organizations, we need a way to transfer goods between these two inventory organizations. And that's actually the second group. In Oracle, we have two main kinds of transactions for this. First, transfer orders and second, inter-organization transfers. Depending on how they're set up, they usually involve shipment and receiving. Group number three is everything related to sales orders. Because staying with the IKEA example, customers do not have to go to IKEA. They could also order online. In that case, inventory receives a sales order and then proceeds pick, packing and shipping the order to the customer. Fourth group are all kinds of miscellaneous smaller transactions like issuing defective items out of our inventory. And the fifth and final group are replenishment transactions. So we have all kinds of min-max planning transactions so that we never run out of stock and can adjust our on-hand inventory quantity. Let's recap. Five basic types of transactions in an organization, between organizations, with a customer, miscellaneous and replenishment transactions. So as you can see, inventory management is pretty logical, but there is a lot more to cover. If you want to learn how to perform all of these transactions, we have a completely free course, including a free certification here on Panamere. So go check it out right now.